Hey y'all, y'all already know who it is. It is Sierra Messias and you're watching Sierra's Extravaganza, AKA me, myself, and passion. And today is the fourth day of March Madness monologue and I'm honestly not having a good day. So I'm about to show you guys professionalism because even if you're not having a good day and even when you're not in a good mood, you got to keep going. And at first people would tell me that and I didn't listen. I used to be like, if I'm in this mood, I'm not doing it. If I'm feeling this way, I'm not going to go through with it. You get what I mean? But I'm going to do it because it's time for me to move forward. It's time for me to grow continue to grow and it's time for me to really reach my dreams and my goals so i'm about to get straight into the video and i really hope you guys enjoy it stay with me guys stay with me Shannon, get downstairs right now. Right now. I've been at work all day. And I come home and you did not vacuum the floor. You did not wash the dishes. And if I go upstairs and your room is not clean, what do you think I'm going to do? What do I do every single day? I work every single day to provide for you. If you ask for something, I got you. And I ask you to do three simple things and you can't do it? Don't ask me for nothing. And you... First of all, first of all, I work all day. And I know I already said that already. I work all day. And you're going to... And all you got to do is go to school. And all I ask of you is to clean your room, wash them dishes, and vacuum the living room. And you can't do that? You can't do that? I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I was like, dang, what else should I say? Mean girl cheerleader. That's the topic. So this might be come as a surprise or maybe it might not be because some people think I'm mean. Some people think I'm very nice. Some people think I'm too nice. But this is actually a challenge for me. Mean girl cheerleader? Like, what would I say? Like, mean. We're not talking about, like, discipline cheerleading um, captain. I'm talking about a mean cheerleading captain. Like, just straight up mean hater vibes. And I'm like, I'm not a hater either. So this is going to be a challenge for me. Because it would be easier to write it down and memorize it. But coming up with it from the top of my head what this is this is going to be like a challenge okay so let me let me get me like <sighs> oh my god do you see the ch the girls walking in here right now do you see them i cannot believe they really think they're about to be cheerleaders on the varsity team i don't even think they can make the jv team okay let's get started Okay, guys, so as you read on the flyer, you already know the requirements for this cheerleading team. You need to know how to do a split. You need to be extremely flexible. And you need to be able to do back flips, front flips, and round offs. Everything. Everything. And unlike Miss Little Fat Fat over there, you cannot be fat. You have to be slim because we wear two pieces cheerleading outfits so i don't want to see no flabber no jiggling no nothing and we you have to be on a strict diet 
no burgers, no nothing. I want to see flat stomachs, tight, looking great, amazing. Okay? So, fat, fat, you need to go because you're definitely not making the team. You already lost. Okay, so, you right there. Yes. Um, I want to see you do a split, a round off, and a backflip. Okay? And, no, you can't, you can't do it. No. That was terrible. I don't, bye. Next. That was hard. I didn't know what to say. I was like, what should I say? How do I be? How do I be me? And guys, I'm I'm such a loving person. Like, I just love people. Like, I don't I I can't be mean to people, you know? So like it would have been a lot easier to write it down and memorize it and then step into that character. But stepping into that character on spot <laughs> that was hard. But I hope you guys liked it. I hope y'all saw the effort. Okay? Okay. <laughs>
smack it on that joint, brush it up, and you're done. I got to put gel on like five times. I got to put on mad different layers. Don't ever compare your hair to mine. I'm serious. You you really about to sit here and say, oh, my hair is mad hard to do. Like, it's thick. You do got a lot of hair, but baby girl, baby, baby. I'm telling you, my hair don't, your hair, like, my hair is not, like, I can literally braid my hair, twist it, and pray to God that it will come out the way I want it to. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, you cannot compare your hair to mine. I hope that was good. But, like, tell me if you can relate. Comment down below because I know I'm not the only one. My hair has its own personality. Like, it be doing what it do. And sometimes I be feeling ugly. But then I love my hair. Then, not ugly, but, like, I be feeling like I be looking mad stupid because my hair just does what it do. And I don't like to keep my hair in, the, in these hairstyles for too long because... It's just not good for your hair. So, like, sometimes I just got to wear that afro. My afros don't come out nice all the time. Sometimes I got to wear it and just look how I look and just deal with it. Because my hair is... I care about the health of my hair more than being cute, even though I'm cute. But you know what I mean. But thank God for protective hairstyles because, you know, like... Woo! Natural hair is a workout. It's an arm workout. Okay, guys, so that was the last part of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I showed a lot of professionalism because, like I said, it's not my day today, but it is okay. I'm going to keep going, and I'm just going to hope for the best. I'm going to pray for the best, and I know that the best will come because the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 and 11 that for... God says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. And God said he would do exceedingly ab abundantly above all we can ask or think. So I'm just going to continue to encourage myself. And I hope that you are encouraged because I know that we have been going through so much during this pandemic. Stay encouraged. Be encouraged. Be who you are and chase after your dreams. And chase after your dreams. And chase after your dreams. What? I love you guys. Bye.